If you went to the Bahamas and visited a different island every day for a year, you'd have a lot of fun, but you still wouldn't have seen them all. For the beautiful Bahamas boast 700 islands and caves scattered like a sparkling bed of jewels over the clear blue waters of the Atlantic. On pleasure-packed Paradise Island, Merv Griffin's colonial-style ocean club is world famous for action and endless distractions. The best-kept super secrets in the Bahamas are the outer islands, secluded, romantic, and custom-made for tropical R&R. The outer islands are just 180 miles east of Miami. Compared to the hustle-bustle of nearby Freeport and Nassau, the pace on Abaco is laid back and no problem, man. Sassy Karen Parsons, fresh prince of Belair's cousin and a Hollywood actor boyfriend, hit Abaco on a romantic rendezvous. I had never heard of Abaco. I guess it's a, it's a little secret. They're beautiful little islands all over the place. There aren't a lot of people around it. And uh, the private part is the best part about it, is it really feels like you're on a deserted island. Karen couldn't wait to explore the many, many islands that make up Abaco. Most are gloriously uninhabited and all offer the ultimate thrill of a serene and secluded hideaway retreat. This has to be the most romantic place. Romance isn't even the word. For me, this is a new relationship and to come here at the beginning of this, it's just magical. Unrivaled deluxe accommodations can be found at Abaco's stunning 37-room resort located on a three-mile-long namesake cave. The rooms are all little separate bungalows, a lot of character, really pretty. Having breakfast served on your own patio is very special. This was the best decision I could have made to come here. You know, you relax and enjoy and soak it all up and it's all beautiful and it's just incredible, it's a paradise. On the other end of Green Turtle Key, Abaco's central village remains much as it did centuries ago. Originally settled by British loyalists, it's a step back in time. New Plymouth is one of the most charming little towns. It's beautiful, all of the homes are fun and businesses and shops are all different colors. Everything's another bright, beautiful color. It looks like a little fairy tale town, you know, it doesn't even look real. A local museum traces Abaco's roots through art. There are a lot of um, descendants from settlers, from the first settlers here. They're very proud people, and they should be. They have this beautiful place that's all its own, has its own character. There's nothing like it. Abaco Islanders set aside a very special exhibition in New Plymouth. It honors and immortalizes citizens of achievement through the ages. It was very interesting in the sculpture garden because there are so many different people. There were men, women, um, people that are no longer living, and people that are still living and that are doing different things, all different things who um, meant a lot to this place. Come midday, the heat was on. Selk and I went to the most incredible white sand beaches. It's all postcard perfect. All the postcards you see, they're, they're just regular everyday pictures here for romance. There's nothing like being alone on a little island with just no people. Getting around the spectacular key is easier by water than rocky roadway. But when they got a chance to hoof it, the lovebirds decided to saddle up. I love horseback riding. Sucks a lot better with a horse than I am. <laughs> but I never had the opportunity to ride on the beach on a horse, and nor did he. And he had said that was something he always had wanted to do. So um, we both got the chance to do that in Abaco. Night after night, we saw the most incredible sunsets that you could ever imagine. You know, and one night was just more beautiful than the next. The Green Turtle Club is as romantic after dark as during the day. But watch out for the island's traditional tipple. Its name is a dead giveaway. The Tipsy Turtle, which is a rum drink, uh, was definitely one of the highlights of our stay here. But you have to be very careful. They're really for the brave. The dining here was very, very romantic, and the food is wonderful and you feel like you're staying at someone's home. It really feels like that. After 
after we would eat, there was dancing outside, and everybody just would get up and dance. Everyone just got free and crazy and, and had a really good time. This was definitely a monumental trip for both of us, the beginning of, of a new relationship, and, and it's something we won't forget. Next, a culinary countdown of Epicurean excellence. Get ready for the top 10 American gourmet restaurants. Pray with us.